Hello, the game has started. It's my opponent to go first. I've got a great rack. Surely I am bingoing. Now, same opponent as yesterday when I won by 16 points and had four back-to-back -back bingos, so a very strong opponent. What sevens do I have with this rack? Well, with the blank as an A, I have Drossera and Adoras. It would be good to play a seven-letter bingo in which the blank replicated a tile on my rack, and I can do that with rear dos. Now, a double-double lane available in column five because of Novum, so blank as an N, Droners. Wow, what a start. There we go. And a pretty good pickup. There could well be another bingo here. And a wide open board with plenty of floaters. So what do I have? Do I have a seven to start with? These tiles do look quite promising. Not seeing one. How about the D? No, Territoid, but the D is in the wrong place. Okay, still plenty of floaters available. How about the R? No, not seeing anything. How about the S? Wow, this is a little harder than I thought. I thought there would be a, a whole choice of bingos. I haven't seen any so far. Coming back to the S. So I have the I-E-S-T ending. That's not suggesting anything. How about the V? Gosh, no. A vowel less likely, but I will consider it. I've got the out prefix, not seeing anything. How about the M, the last floater? Gosh, not seeing anything. And opponent provided an A, not seeing anything there. Wow, I hope I'm not overlooking a bingo here. All one point tiles, so there'll be a big difference between my play and the bingo if I miss one. So I've got the IER ending with Toat. Close to Tomatoia. Let me come back to the V. I've got the over prefix. I've got the IVE ending. So what about rotative? I think this is good. Rotative for 64. And it is fantastic. Gosh, I had pretty much abandoned hope there of having a bingo. So what do I have here? Slightly less bingo -y than the previous two racks. Not seeing a seven and far fewer floaters available. Well, there are actually floaters in rotative. They're just not wide open. I guess the U and the vowel heaviness makes me think this is non-bingoey. 39 points for opponent. So how about the M? I've got neuro as a prefix. Not many eight letter neuro words. R, T. A doesn't look useful. How about the S? No, okay, so I think my bingo run has ended. Again, all one point tiles. So what to do here? Although this rack feels quite bingo-y, it's not the sort of rack where there's a really good four or five letter, four or five tiles you'd like to keep hold of. So I don't mind turning over tiles here. Just hesitating in case I have a bingo. I'm revisiting the un prefix. I've got the men suffix. 
you know, I need to abandon this. So what about column eight? It's not a hugely hot, hot lane because a big tile can't go next to the T. But what do I have here? Well, I have Lino keeping URE. It would be nice to burn the U. 20 odd points for Lino. I could play UR, but again, that's keeping a vowel heavy rack leave. I could play Loon, only 14 points. Okay, so what about now for 16, decent rack leave? Taking out the S as a floater, providing an E, which isn't great, but I am going with this. And I draw the second blank. And again, this looks fairly close to a bingo. I was going to say yielder, but that's two E's. I have the I L Y ending. The duplicate I is somewhat problematic. So do I have anything with the M? No, and there, there may be nothing here, in which case I'd like to get rid of Y and I. Let me run through the alphabet and see if anything jumps to mind. That looked close to something. That's the rack which is close to Yielder. 41 points for opponent and a floating S. And I could have played Lino in that spot. Okay, so I'm sort of looking for sevens and any eights which jump to mind. Not seen anything so far. Floaters E, M and T. Still nothing. Okay, so this exercise is not born fruit. So what to do? Just considering R, E and O, X, but I'm not seeing anything. Oxy is good. So do I have any, wow, I don't think I have any Y, I words. Gosh, that is frustrating. Does that apply everywhere? MY is good, but again, no YI words. I've got YIL in row L for a very low score, so I'm not keen on that. Gosh, J is good. But it's just this duplicate I and still five to come. I don't want to have three eyes on my rack. What about playing across from the T because sexy is good? Twenty eight points, decent score, not giving much away. I may have to go with this. I just can't see any Y I spots. Okay. So I'm going with this. Wow, and I'm now grateful for the duplicate I because they're the only vowels I have. Thirty four for opponent. 
and I lead by 50, which is fairly slender, but I do have the blank, so I certainly do have the, the advantage. Do I have a bingo with the E? I don't think so. W and P are pretty non-bingo-y. I can sort this rack out totally with WIMP, although the score is dismal. Just contemplating wimplier, but I'm sure that's not good. Only 15 points, but I am totally sorting the rack out and I can't do that anywhere else. I don't mind keeping the P, but I'd like to get rid of W and I. And I'm not saying anywhere else to do that. I'm going with this. Well, I have a feeling I probably have Mr. Bingo with this blank. It's been on my rack for quite a few turns now. A buy is good, so an A can go next to the S. Where are the floaters? There's an E. And is that it? Pretty much. Well, the S with the restriction mentioned earlier, so what about a seven? Not seeing anything so far. That's the ING ending. Still nothing. Still nothing. I've got QU. What about the S? No. No, not seeing anything there. Opponent's got 24 for Chef. So, a new floater in the sea. So I could have a play ending IC. Thinking, I'm thinking about neurilic, but I think it's neuritic. I'm confusing it with only one pointers again. Close to Uranus sky. Okay, and this, the difficulty here is with all one pointers. I'm just not going to score. Ten minutes on my clock. Do I have anything through US? No. I don't think so. Nice seven letter lane in column ten because of PI. So if I had a play beginning with in, it would play. Not seeing it. Okay, so how to sort the rack out. I could play LI. I do need to sort out duplicate I. I'm reluctant to play uni. With a Q still to come. I could play Paiu, but that's again setting up hotspots and I do have a lead which is worth preserving. Yeah, I could play unsee through the sea, but that's again setting up a hotspot. I am going with this. Good grief. Two U's and a non bingo -y rack. I'm not even going to look for a bingo this turn. Is there a way of getting rid of Z and U through an L? I would have Zulu. This could be a case of changing, changing Z, W, if I just can't get rid of them. I have was in row F, probably better than changing. Only 17 points. Opponent only got 24 for Chef, so he's slowing up a bit. And I have cuz in column two, which I think I will do. It's more points than was. Opponent has played gods for 28, which is good. That closes the board up. So 
So this is what I'm thinking of, cuz 428. It's not that easy to play through the Z. And if, even if there is a play through it, it's hard to put a high scoring tile on the double letter square. All the Y's have gone, so Azim won't play. I am going with this. Okay, again, pretty bingo-y. Pretty bingo-y. Just lacking in bingo-y vowels. And I'm not seeing a bingo here. Where are the lanes? Nothing through the Z. What about under the F? That would need to begin with A, E, or Y. Not seeing anything. Column two, that's a pretty useful lane. Lots of things go in front of AG, including all of my consonants. Great, look at that, just 13 points. So I'm looking for sevens, eight minutes on my clock, 35 tiles to come, so I can't hang around here. Wow, that looks close. Just, ah, in earned. Does that play? Not in column two, not under F. Agonizing. An opponent has blocked the PI spot. What about column 11? No, although that is a lane. Unfriend through an F. I've taken out the C hook. So that was in earned. Ah, and it's anagram. Dunia does play. Wow, I've got a bingo, but, wow, do I play it? I'm short on time. Do I play it or do I look for a better one? Where would a better one play? Column 11, something ending I-N-E or I-N-S. Neither of those exist. Row N isn't going to be better than column 2. I see no point in looking further. Dunia for 66. And another great pickup. Wow. And I lead by over a hundred. This is certainly a balanced rack and I'll have plenty of options even if I don't have a bingo. My B would go next to the I of Dunia should opponent leave that alone. I'm just wondering if there are any extensions of Zell, Zellator, Zellatrix, X is gone. Not seeing any extensions with this rack. Or any words. Wow, great bingo by opponent. Pretty obscure word. Great spot. And now my lead, just 29 points, 20 tiles to come. Let me check the remaining vowels. 12 out of 27, fairly balanced. Only seven minutes on my clock. Do I have a bingo here? It would need to be a seven or to play in column 11. No vowel goes next to G, so I don't have a column 11 play. Nothing to go on the end of a whim. Anything through US? No. So, yeah, I think I play in, in this spot. I have Beard, which is going to be a big score. 45 points. Ouch, I draw the Q. Can I get rid of it straight away? Certainly not for a high score. I've got Chi above the eye of Ephelis. Any A's for Cat? Still a bunch of A's to come, so opponent may provide one. All of the U's have gone. Cuz. That's not available. US, not available. Dunia, not available. And Novums. And I had all those U's earlier and was rowing them. Now they would be jolly useful on my rack. Given all the A's, it may be worth... Well, I think if I can play the Q, I will. But it's not a disaster hanging on to it. And I do have the W... Onto a Y, I would have QWERTY. Both Ys have gone. Oxy. And tie. And through an A, I would have TRANK. 
Okay, so what can I do with the W? U is good, so I could play EW, I think that's the best. Or I could play Ween or Wheat in column 8 for 33 points. That would be pretty handy. I could also play Tweet in that spot, but that burns both T's. Now my lead, 74 points with just 15 tiles in the bag. I'm looking around in case I've overlooked a Q spot. Wow, 32 for opponent. So here we go. I think I do play Wheat because the QI spot remains available. Obviously that may go. If I draw an A, I'll have Trank on my rack and Cat. And admittedly, I may not have spots for those, but I'm also taking a spot where opponent could score well, either vertically or horizontally. So I think I will go with Wheat for 33. And I draw an A, which is good. I have Cats in column 11. Woe takes an S. All S's have gone. So Chi and Cats both in the same spot. But I still think Wheat was the right thing to do. I may be able to survive a Q stick. Remaining tiles pretty non bingo -y. And three scoring tiles in F, K and M. Only seven tiles in the bag. If I had an eye, I would have sank in row B. Through an A, I would have Kanat. Li takes nothing in front. I do have an A for a buy, but I'm not playing my Q there. Now, opponent may play in row A, in row O rather, and block both of my Q spots. I think if I can get rid of the Q this turn, the game is close to being in the bag. Now I also have Cat parallel to Ephelis. Is there really no other spot for my Q? Well, not that I can see. Opponent taking a while with this play. And although the, the bag is non bingo -y, there will be bingos amongst them. But not many lanes. Wimp only takes S and Y, Woe only takes S, and all of those tiles have gone, and both blanks have gone, so maybe there aren't any lanes. KV has taken out the S. And Wheat has taken out both parallel lanes. Unless it's an eight-letter bingo with a lot of overlap. And the W, not a particularly useful floater. Now I have Trank and Tweet. So even if opponent plays in row O, I have a bingo. Great, and I think that might be my preferred option. So... What is opponent going to do and what is he going to be thinking? He has played. He's played Monk. Fortunately, my Trank spot remains available and I wonder if opponent had in mind to block my Q spots. It's possible. So Trank for 36 and this is going to empty the bag. So it's going to empty the bag. Let me just put this back. I don't want to be walking into a bear trap. My lead is 50. Trank scored about 30 to take me to 80. If opponent bingos, he wins. But there are literally no lanes. Unless he plays across from the F, from the T. I don't think he's got anything there. I am going with this. And he surely does not have a bingo with this rack. I have Fain on my rack. Nowhere for it. OSE is good. 
Meg is good. Yeah, I can't see a way of going out with these tiles, but I think the game is won unless opponent finds an amazing bingo. Chin is good. So opponent's got I-O. Naos is good, so he's got A-I. He may do that, that's 32 points. But what am I going to do with this rack? Just five minutes on my clock. I don't think I'm going out in one. I can probably go out in two. Monk only takes an S. I've got nothing towards the bottom. Yeah, opponent plays IO for 34, which is very similar to AI. Probably scores slightly more because of the points for the K. And opponent's provided a spot for Fane, so AI would certainly have been better for him. Fane for 14. And the final score, 379 for my opponent, 454 for me, a winning margin of 75 points, so a huge, huge win. Let's see what I missed. Wow, what a game. My poor opponent, he's definitely been on the, the wrong end of the stick in terms of tile drawing. I've drawn very well in both of the last two games. Now, it was opponent to go first, and he played Ovum. And I have Droners, which is the only double-double. Opponent's rat, pretty grim, plays Agio. And I saw Rotative, and it scores the most, but there was Amaretti through the M. Gosh, and Toastia, what a howler if I'd not found one of those three bingos. And rather fortuitously, or fortunately, I found the highest, score, highest scoring. Opponent's rack plays Jar. Oh, wow, what a shame. I could have had triplicate back-to-back -back bingo. Where would that have played? E7. From the A, Alurón. Oh, what a shame. That would have been so amazing to have had triplicate back-to-back -back bingos against the same p opponent in successive games, but it wasn't to be. I didn't see it. I played Newell for 16. Opponent plays Sex. Another missed bingo, Firely, D2, Firely and Fag, wow. Okay, what do I do? I play tie for 28, so yeah, a missed bingo there. Opponent plays by, and no missed bingo here. I play Wimp for 15, only five more points on offer, so not much between those plays. Opponent Consonant Heavy plays Chef. No bingo here. And I play Lie for 12, which again is close to the top in terms of points. Opponent plays Gods. Wow, J2 Zircon burning the blank for 72 points. But all these bank blank burning plays retain two U's. So what do I do? I play Cuz for 28. Keeping a fairly nice rack, and how many points am I giving up? 44 points, blank's worth 25. W must be worth minus 10, so I think cuz, I think the cuz rack cleave is 40, 44 points better than the zircon rack cleave. So let me have a bash at this. So W, U is worth minus 5. So minus 10 plus the synergy, that's going to be somewhere between minus 10 and minus 15, say minus 12. And then blank 25, it's helped all the way up to the U, so 25 all the way up to say 35, dragged back a bit, but not much, probably about 32. So that's 32, and this was minus 12, 44 point difference, so maybe those moves are close. Opponent's rack. No bingo, play Zell. Now I have Dunia, which I nearly missed, and Durning also available in the same spot. 
great spot by opponent of FLS. And I have Beard for 45. So I now have an 80 point lead and the board is starting to look a bit tight, especially with all the S's and blanks gone. Opponent plays KV. Ah, interesting. I could have played Tween. I thought about Tweet. Didn't like burning both T's. Yeah, so Tween for 36 would have scored more, but one advantage of Wheat is that it does take the T in case I draw the tiles for Trang, which is what happens. So I think Wheat is my preferred play. Opponent plays Monk. I have Trank. Wow, is that, is that the only Q play? It looks like it. No bingo for opponent, but could have played Iota. 11 IOTA, yep. Doesn't. And then finally, Fane is the only out. So, what a game. Absolutely amazing stuff. Over 450 points. A fantastic start to the game with a bingo on my first rack and back to back bingos to start the game. And it could have been triplicate back-to-back -back bingos if I'd spotted Alieron, but it wasn't to be. Opponent's very strong, so the game was only secure right at the very end. So absolutely superb fun. Many thanks to my opponent for a good battle. I hope you enjoyed watching that game, and I will see you next time.